So there we have the stylized balance sheet on the asset side, loans, which come in different types, and, um, and on the other side of the balance sheet, the liability side, we have the deposits, which also come in different types. But the liability side of the balance sheet also includes critically, sorry, as you were, both sides of the balance sheet include critically two items that are not identified explicitly there. On the right-hand side, liabilities, there is the equity um, and uh, capital, if you like, of the bank, which is equity. It's a liability, but it is shareholders' own funds, okay, the capital. And that is at the bottom for a reason, because if the firm was to experience winding up, it was to come into administration or bankruptcy, they are at the bottom of seniority for repayment of their liability. And often the bank going bust indicates that it's run out of capital, i.e. run out of equity, so the equity holders have lost all their investment, whereas higher up the level of seniority, they should be able to get some, if not all, of their funding back, their liabilities back. Uh, their deposits back. On the left-hand side, we have customer loans. We have an element of under other assets there that is risk-free assets, what we're going to call later in Module 4, the high-quality liquid assets portfolio. That is often what equity is invested in. So it's often a mirror to an extent of the capital on the right-hand side, the risk-free assets, the liquid assets that the bank holds. Um, and then we have uh, an expression that I personally have banned from my personal lexicon of finance terms, which is off balance sheet. Ultimately, everything is on your balance sheet, but it may reflect things such as undrawn commitments, liquidity lines offered to banks that haven't been drawn down yet, uh, similarly commitments received. It will include derivative instruments because the derivatives one exchanges uh, differences in cash flows due to interest or FX or other rates rather than actual notional amounts. But ultimately, they do impact your balance sheet. They impact your risk management of the balance sheet so therefore, they are on your balance sheet, which is, I don't, which is why I don't like that expression, but you should be familiar with it because you'll come across it a lot.